Thanks, Drew. Wondering how much it'll cost to heat your home this winter? Here's a look at some numbers from our area's largest electric companies. We Energies is predicting its average customer will pay between $627 and $634 this season. Wisconsin Public Service predicts its average customer will pay around $520. It's important to note that both utility companies use different factors, such as how much energy their average customers use to forecast their pricing. Although heating costs are expected to be less this year than last year, many of you are still looking for ways to save money. Aren't we always? And Angela Kelly joins us uh, with some more tips on keeping your house warm and your wallet a little fuller. Ange? Yes, exactly. I want my house warm and I want my wallet a little fuller. Who doesn't want Who that, doesn't, right? Who doesn't, right? I know. So right now we're going to talk about our doors, the doors that lead to the exterior of our home outside. So. Um, this is Denny Knutson. He is with Budget Handyman Solutions here in Green Bay. So, uh, Denny, tell us um, about the importance of, of looking at the bottom of our doors. A lot of times we, we don't realize that a lot of cold air comes in underneath of our doors. And on the newer homes, fortunately, we have this rubber sweep on the bottom of the door. And then we have an adjustable stoop. These have screws so that that stoop can adjust up and down to meet the rubber sweep so we get a nice tight seal underneath the door. But the, sometimes the older homes don't have them, so you've got to install right. one. Right. So on, new, on the older homes, typically what we land up doing is we can get something like this rubber sweep and it screws to the door, bottom of the door, and the holes are elongated so we can adjust it up and down as it wears a little bit. If I live in a new home and already have one, how quick do these wear down and how often do I have to replace them? Well, you know, it could be as much as five to ten years. It could start wearing down from the salt and the weather that comes through the door. Okay, so we keep an eye on that. Absolutely. Here's, a, here's another thing. Um, you know, this is just even a quick fix. We've got that towel there, Denny. Tell right. us what that might be able to do. Well, if you can't afford a sweep, uh, to buy a sweep, typically what you can do is you can roll up a towel and place it against the door so that it seals out most of that cold air that's coming in underneath the door to help hold down your cost. It's not the best method, but it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing, absolutely. Oh, okay, and we have time real quick for one more. Tell us what this is and what this might do. Oftentimes doors do not close tight, and when they won't close tight, they make a rubber seal that you can put on the door, it's adhesive, and then as you close the door, this will take up the gap, keep that cold air from coming around the door. Yeah, we've, just, we've shown you so many just small and rather inexpensive changes that you can make inside and outside of your home. Absolutely. To uh, you know, make it more energy efficient. Thank you so much, Denny. You're welcome. And uh, we'll join you back here with a little bit more in about an hour. All right, we'll see you then. Thanks, Ange.